Hi friends! So today is going to be a great day. I'm so excited for today. I just know it's going to be good because first of all it's a long weekend. That means that I have lots of free time on my hands. Today is Saturday by the way. So yesterday I also had a day off on which I got to assemble a little more of my bookshelf aka wardrobe which I'm going to show you in a minute. And then I found out that there's going to be a second season of Wednesday coming which makes me really happy. I love that show. I just finished it um, over the holidays and it's been so fun and cool. I think most people really enjoyed it. It's, it's really popular. So yeah, there's going to be a second season and it's going to be on Netflix and I can't wait. Also, I'm going to go to Ikea after I finished filming this and I will buy a few more things I need for my room. I think I'm also going to buy a few decorations maybe or certainly a few household items that I need. Also, I wanted to show you my new jumper or sweater or whatever. Isn't that beautiful? Oh, I'm obsessed with it. I love the pattern. It's so cool. It's fresh, but also it's not too much. It's just... Let me show you. It's so pretty. The next thing that I'm really excited about is that I started a new audiobook. I started listening to Boyfriend Material by Alexis Hall. So far it's been really good. It's a book about um, the son of a rock star who has quite some issues in his life. He's got a little bit of trouble at work because he's basically been framed by the media in some way. Not even framed. He's had some bad headlines about him and some of them were true. So because of that he has had some trouble at work and now he needs a fake boyfriend to help him get get a better image and redeem himself in the public eye so he doesn't have these problems at work anymore. And therefore he meets with a friend of a friend who he has known before and doesn't really like. They are, I would say, enemies, definitely. They don't like each other at all. And then they go on a date. And that's basically how far into the book I am right now. Um, they've met a couple of times and it's been so fun. There's been a lot of miscommunication between these two. The main character, Luke, he has problems with social interactions in general. The author did it really well to explain or show how it feels to be so in your head that you're messing up every single social interaction you have. That's been so fun to see. I don't know if you should find it fun, but I find it fun. It's done with such a sense of humor in the self-deprecation that Luke has going on in his head. Yeah, it's really, it's really fun. I don't usually enjoy miscommunication tropes most of the time, but in this case I think it's been done really well. So I'm excited to see how the plot will continue and how the book is going to evolve. I mean, it's pretty obvious what's going to happen in the end. But I still find it interesting because it's such a long audiobook. It's 15 hours long and I haven't, I haven't listened to such a long audiobook in, in a while. Usually it's only fantasy books that are this long. I'm listening to it in German though, so that could be a reason why it's longer. But usually even in German they aren't that long. Most, most romance books are about 8 or 7 hours. But, but I enjoy the story so I'm not mad about it. It's just something you have to consider if you're interested in this book. But yeah, it's been really good. I'm excited to continue listening to it. Now I only have to find my headphones because I have lost them somewhere when I redecorated my room yesterday and I just can't find them. And this is going to be so annoying because I have to take public transport to get to Ikea and if I don't have my headphones with me, I'm going to die. Not to be dramatic, but I won't enjoy it. <laughs> what else is going on? I I put up some of the shelves. 
of my bookshelves that I'm going to show you right now. So yesterday I started or continued assembling my, um, my wardrobe here and I basically put up this, this, these lower two and then today, today I want to um, buy the missing pieces for this shelf so it's going to be a small one and yeah that's the plan for today at Ikea and I love it I love it so much it's so cute isn't it cute this is going to be like my little nook where I can spend all my time and if I don't want to be bothered by the light or anything outside I'm also going to put up at least that's the plan I'm going to put up a curtain here so I can close this door or whatever you want to call it and I love it so much. There's so much space for all these books and yeah, I'm really happy about how it turned out. And like if you go around this corner, there's even more space for books. I don't even have enough books to fill it yet, but I'm pretty sure I will have enough in the future. So at least I don't have to consider space anymore when going on book buying trips. So that's what it looks like right now and I will update you tomorrow or whenever I finish putting up this piece that's still missing. So now I'm taking you with me to Ikea. Let's go! <laughs> back home from Ikea and it was really exhausting. I have a headache now, I'm tired and I'm hungry. So, so I think I'm going to make something to eat and then I'm going to start reading. On my way to Ikea and while I was shopping I continued to listen to the audiobook and so far I really like it still, especially I especially like um, the dynamic between the two main characters, but also the friends are really fun and they're coming a bit more into play right now. But in general, the story has slowed down a bit and I hope it's going to pick up the pace a little more so it doesn't get boring. But yeah, so far it's, it's a really good book and I would say it's about four star reads so far, but I haven't finished it so I can't really tell you my final rating. So right now I'm six hours into the audiobook, so there's still eight or nine hours left and I don't know what will happen because right now I don't really see the potential of everything that could still happen. Yeah, so I'm really curious to see what the main event or the main plotline will going to be going forward because um, the fake dating plotline is not going to carry the whole way through the book. We'll see. So right now I'm going to drink some water because I definitely didn't drink enough today and that's why I've got a headache now, so stay hydrated, <laughs> just a reminder. Then I'm going to cook and then I'm going to read maybe something physical because I've listened to six hours of audiobook since last night and I think my brain needs to change it up a bit. <laughs> also, I painted my nails yesterday and then I rearranged my room and went to Ikea and now they're all chipped. That wasn't, that wasn't so smart, but oh well. So right now I'm going to start cooking.
So dinner is ready and I think it looks amazing. I'm going to eat a little small salad on the side. So this is what it looks like and I'm going to eat now. Hmm. Okay, so I just finished eating and now it's finally time to read. I have my book with me here. Isn't this the most beautiful cover? I I can't even. It's so pretty. It's probably the prettiest book I own or at least in the top five. Actually, I started reading this last year. The last time I read in this book was in the end of September. So that's been a while. <laughs> um, but I still remember the plotline and everything that happened so far. Um, I think it's also because I read the Grisha trilogy and then after that I read Six of Crows and the second one of that and then King of Scars and now Rule of Wolves. I know the characters really well and therefore I can remember it much better. Um, I'm on page 383 of 574. So actually pretty far into the book. I hope that I can finish it quite quickly because these books didn't take me very long to read. I really enjoy reading them. I love the characters so much. I'm so happy that I get to read this right now because it's one of my favorite fantasy stories of all time. Um, but also I'm pretty sad because this is the whole series ending and I don't want it to end. It's so good. I know that there are some other novels that kind of belong to the series, but I think they are more in the past. So I don't know if I will like this or if this is just a continuation of the universe, but not the story and then it will feel different, if you know what I mean. So yeah, I will start reading this now. And actually I'm pretty tired after this full day of everything that I've got done today and after eating and yeah. So I don't know how much time I will actually spend on reading. And yeah, I will update you tomorrow morning. Good night. Good morning, you guys. I just got up and got ready to go to the gym, had breakfast, had coffee. And now before I leave, I will read the last 50 or 40 pages that I still have left of Rule of Wolves. And I'm so excited. It's all coming to an end. It's all coming together now. And I have an idea about how the story might continue. And if it will continue like that, it's going to be great. I really hope it continues the way I think it will, um, but I'm not sure because there have been so many plot twists in this series, um, but we'll see. I will update you when I have finished reading and after that I will go to the gym. Okay, so I just finished reading Rule of Wolves and this ending was so good. I love it. It's oh, it's just the perfect ending for this story. Even though there still kind of is a new story that's being teased in the end, so I don't know if that means anything, if if there might be a continuation of it or whatever, but this ending was just everything I hoped for. It was in my opinion, the best ending of the trilogy and also the duology, because it was just perfect. I have no words for it. It just made me so happy to finally see all of the characters, even if it's not in the way you would hope they would get their ending that they deserve, they still get a good ending for, for everything that has been happening so far. It was an ending that I just think is very satisfying as a reader and that's just everything you can hope for. It doesn't matter if all of the characters get a happy ending or not or um, 
if everything goes the way that you envision it in your head, but just something that is satisfying that gives it a, an ending where you don't think, oh, this this is a bit weird, or this this doesn't really make sense, this all made sense, even if some parts of it could have definitely been drawn out a little longer. I think this is something very typical for Lee Badugo, um, that was also happening in the Grisha trilogy. She definitely, this is very fast paced. She's an author that sometimes rather makes things shorter than drawing it out too long, which I don't believe I've encountered many times in the fantasy world. Fantasy authors really like to drag things out and really go into the detail of everything that's happening and I think that is something that really sets Lee Badugo apart from other authors in the fantasy genre. But I really like that. I don't, I don't really like reading descriptions of every single piece of grass that you can find in a country. <laughs> so it might even be my favorite book out of the whole series. I don't know. Six of Crows was also really great, but I have really loved the character Nikolai from the beginning. He has the greatest sense of humor and I also got to love Zoya. She was a character that I didn't like at all in the beginning, which you were supposed to. You weren't supposed to like her in the first few books. In the last two, King of Scars and Rule of Wolves, I just grew to love her so much and I always really like that. If an author gets to change your opinion, on the character. That's always something really hard to do, hard to do well, and Libadugo really did a good job at this. I didn't really like the ending of King of Scars. I, I didn't like it at all. It, it was just a little too much in my opinion or in my taste. But Rule of Wolves, every storyline was interesting and kept me engaged. I wanted to keep reading. I don't usually enjoy different points of views that much because most of the time not all of them are interesting or oftentimes it's that one point of view ends and you're like oh my god now I have to read this other boring stuff that I don't want to <laughs> that I don't want to know anything about um, but in this case all points of views were interesting and had storylines that that helped the plot move forward and that were equally important yeah it was just a really good book and I'm so sad that this whole story is over now. I can only recommend the series. It's such a good fantasy series. The world building is great. Um, the characters are interesting. They all have really well fleshed out personalities and yeah, I don't think I need to recommend it um, because everyone and their mother has read um, the Grisha trilogy and the Six of Crows duology. If you have read it, then let me know in the comments what your opinion on it is. Yeah, I'm really happy now and I hope that I can find another book that will fill me with this much excitement and joy and that I won't and that I won't end up in a reading slump now because this is the last part of the series. So yeah, my plan is to continue listening to Boyfriend Material by Alexis Hall, which I told you about yesterday. And yeah, I will talk to you later. Okay, so I also finished building my bookshelf. And I still wanted to show you that. So this part is now done and all finished. I just need things to fill it with, but I think that won't be a problem. Um, yeah. So I really, really like it. I think it looks amazing. It makes me feel really cozy inside and yeah, I'm really happy how it turned out. The only thing that's still missing is that little curtain that will go up there, but um, I still need to shorten the curtain, but otherwise I'm really happy. Hi, so I just came back from the gym and had dinner and I also finished reading um, Boyfriend Material by Alexis Hall or 
I, I finished listening to the audiobook rather than reading it. So yeah, it was a good book, I would say, but um, the last time I talked about it, I think, I said that the whole storyline of fake dating is not enough to carry through the whole story and that there needs to be some kind of different event or plot point coming into play that didn't really happen. Um, the rest of the book was just more filled with family drama, with overcoming your past and coming to terms with how you want to live your life and also how you want your relationships to be and overcoming your fears. So it wasn't bad, um, but I think for me personally it was a bit too long to only have this one main plotline and not having a subplot or something that really stands out that isn't just about families. So it was definitely a nice romance. Um, I still stand by what I said before about um, the main characters being really interesting and, and having interesting personality traits that make them stand out. But it's definitely not a romance that I, I think is that memorable that I will be thinking about or that I would consider rereading. So I would rate this one three stars, I guess. Yep. After finishing this 15 hour audiobook, I'm not going to start reading another one uh, right away. I think I need a little break and now I will get ready for bed and just watch some Netflix probably. <laughs> Thank you so much for spending the weekend with me, spending your time here watching this vlog. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, if you have any suggestions, feel free to leave them in the comments below. And I will see you in my next video.